Hey guys, welcome to OG's Wealth of Math. In this video, we want to solve problems on parallel line and transversal. So if you've not subscribed to my channel, you can kindly do that, share my link, make comments on my video, click on the like button, click on the notification bell, so that each time I upload a new video, you get notified. Leave your comment on the comment section. Thank you. So let's get started. We have three problems on the board. And the first problem, you can see that we have parallel line and then we have a transversal. If you watch my previous video, um, I define what a transversal is. A transversal is a line that goes through parallel line. So this a parallel line is a transversal. Now at the top of the first line, I have 62. At the top of the second line, I have Y. So that tells me that Y and 62 are both congruent. In other words, they are equal. So they are corresponding to Y is equal to 62 degrees. The reason for my answer is that they are corresponding angle because they are in the same position. Now, since I know that Y is 62 degrees, I have intersecting lines. Now the angles apart are called vertically opposite angle they are congruent so z is equal to 62 degrees the reason for z is they are vertically opposite angle now i want to get x now there are two ways i can get x number one i'll consider this as a straight line i have two angles on this straight line so the sum of angle on the straight line is equal to 180 degree so x will be 180 minus 62 degrees which will give me 118 degrees so the reason for that is um, sum of angle on a straight line or angle on a straight line. Now, another way to get X is that if you look at this, Y is 62 degrees here and y, X and Y has a relationship because if you look at this, I have parallel lines and this is a transversal. On this side of the transversal, I have a pair of angle X and Y. So X plus Y add up to 180 degrees or they are supplementary so um, to get x would be 180 minus 62 which would give me 118 degrees so for, for that reason it is um, co um, consecutive interior angle or um, or co-interior angle all right let's solve the next problem now for this we have parallel lines here and we also have this and these are also parallel lines but well, let's consider this parallel line in black ink and then this is a transversal to this parallel line and this is also a transversal to this parallel line. Now this is what I want you to know. If you look at this, on this parallel line, this is a transversal. On this transversal, I have a pair of angle C and 52 degrees. They have a relationship. They are consecutive interior angle they add up to 180 degrees so c will be equal to 180 minus 52 degrees which will give me 128 degrees now the reason for this answer is that they are consecutive interior angle like i rightly said consecutive interior angle is when you have they are you have to consecutive interior angle has to be inside the parallel line or within the parallel line look at the look at the transversal on one side of the transversal, you have this two and this pair of angle which add up to 180 degree. In other words, they are supplementary. All right. So I want to consider this and these are parallel line. This is a transversal to so this parallel line. Now, if this is 128 degrees, now this and these are consecutive interior angle. In other words, they are supplementary. They add up to 180 degree. So B will be 180 minus 128, which will give me 52 degrees. So that's how to get that. Now, if we look at this, these and these are parallel line. This is a transversal. Now, on one on, on opposite side of the transversal, within inside the parallel line, the relationship between this and this is that they are alternate interior angles. So A is equal to 100 degrees. The reason is alternate interior angle. All right, let's solve the last problem. Now, the last problem, I'll get it. in the last problem, you know, this and these are parallel lines, but this and these are not parallel lines. Now, I'm going to, after solving this, I'm going to explain certain things which you need to understand when you have lines that are not parallel. Now, considering these lines, they are parallel, 
Now, this is a transversal to this line, and that is also a transversal to that line. So that shows that I have two transversal to this parallel line, right? Now, the first thing I want to look at is that these and these are intersecting lines. So that shows that angle 14 will be um, 78 degrees. The reason is vertically opposite angle. Each time you have an intersecting line, the angles are part are vertically opposite angle. They are congruent. This and these are also vertically opposite. They are congruent. They are equal. All right. Now, what else? We want to get um, 15. This is a straight line. So I want to get 15. This is a straight line. Sum of angle on the straight line will give you 180 degrees. So 180 minus 78 degrees will be 102 degrees. So reason for 15 is straight line angle or sum of angle on a straight line. Now 13. Now since this is 102, this is intersecting line. The angles apart are vertically opposite angles. So 13 is equally 102 degrees. The reason is vertically opposite angle. All right. I want to get angle 5. I want to get angle 5. Now angle 5. This and this are parallel lines. This is a transversal. Now, on opposite side of the transversal, I have um, alternate interior angles. So 5 is equal to um, 78 degrees. The reason is um, alternate interior angle. Now, 7. Okay. Angle 7. Now, 7. These and these are intersecting lines, so the relationship between these and these are vertically, uh, vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles. So that shows that seven is equal to um, seventy-eight degrees. All right. Now I want to get um, okay, seven is equal to seventy-eight degrees. All right. I want to get angle six. I want to get angle six. Now, angle 6, I can look at this. These and these are parallel lines. This is a transversal. On the, at the top of this, I have 14. Sorry. At the bottom of this, I have 15. At the bottom of this, I have 6. So 6 and 15 are equal. So that shows that 6 is 102 degrees. Another way to get, um, that shows that six, that 6 is 102 degrees. All right. So uh, we want to get 8 now. Angle 8. Now, since 6 is 108, then 8 is also, sorry, since 6 is 102, 8 is also 102 degrees because these are intersecting lines. So 8 and 6 are vertically opposite angles. Now, if we look at the other line, there's a parallel line, and this is also a transversal to this parallel line. Now, um, 12, angle 12 is 80 degrees because this are intersecting line and the angles apart are equal right now to get 10 this is a straight line sum of angle on the straight line will give you 180 degrees so 180 minus 80 will give me 100 so 10 is 100 degrees now it's easier for me to get 11 because these are intersecting lines 10 and 11 are um, they are the angles apart, so the angles apart are equal. So 10 is equal to 11, so 11 is also 100 degrees. Now I want to I want us to look at um, okay, we've got in 10, 11, and 12. All right. Now I want us to get one. Now if you look at this, this and these are parallel lines. At the top of this line I have one. At the top of this line I have 10. So 10. 1 and 10 are in the same position, so they are corresponding angles. So in other words, 1 is equal to 10, so 1 is equal to 100 degrees. Similarly, 2 is at the bottom of this line, and 80 is at the bottom of the other line. So that tells me that 2 is equal to 80 degrees. The reason is they are corresponding angles. 2 is equal to 80 degrees, they are corresponding angles because they are in the same position. Now, similarly, 12, I want to get, sorry, I want to get 3. Now, if you look at 3, these and these are parallel lines. And um, 
this is at the top of this line and this is at the top of that line so that shows that 3 and 12 are in the same position so each time you have angles in the same position they are called corresponding so 3 and 12 are equal they are both congruent so 3 is equal to 80 degrees because they are in the same position all right now we want to see um, 4 angle 4 4 is at the bottom of this line 11 is at the bottom of the other line so 4 and 11 has a relationship so 4 is 100 degrees right so we've got in all the angles now i wanted to see something before i conclude the video now this line and this line are not parallel this is a transversal but 1 and 14 are corresponding because they are in the same position but 1 and 14 are not equal let's confirm 1 is 100 degrees 14 is 78 degrees that is applicable to other angles thanks for watching my video you can also subscribe on og's wealth of math click on my like on the like button share my link make comments on my video thank you and have a great day bye